In this video, I will show you how to create Weebly website for free. This tutorial is for you if you are on budget but you still want to create a website. Alright, so this is the Weebly homepage. So first, click on create your website. Alright, so enter your first name, last name, email address, password and choose your country. Then click sign up. And don't worry, this is not 14 days sign up. This is permanent free website, but later on you can upgrade it. So traffic light. All right. Traffic light. All right. What kind of website will you like to create? Okay. I just need a website or I need a website with an online store. I just need a website. All right. So now you have to select a DIM. So up here, this is the business DIM. And then let's check portfolio. And if you want personal website, this this is for like uh, lifestyle blogging and stuff like that. If you want event website, if you want a blog, I'm just trying to show you themes that they have. Okay. So this is for blog website and if you want a coming soon page, this is a coming soon page. All right. And other. Okay. So let's go back to business. So let's go through business. You know what? I'll go for food. Okay. So we can edit and make changes to this Whatever website. Whatever we want to do, we can do it. So you just have to choose a theme like I have chosen right now. Click start editing. All right. So right now we have to choose a domain name. Classic product is available under Weebly.com. So right now we're going to go with this. If you are looking for free domain, which is a subdomain, concentrate on here. Click here. Click done. All right. So I'll show you the pages. This is the home page, the menu, about and locations. Okay, so you can change the dim. You can go back when you change the dim, the whole thing gonna change. You come to app. All right, these are the apps that they have, but uh, I don't think you need to focus on any of this. Okay, so we'll go back. Okay, then you come to setting. Let me try and open the new window so we're not gonna mess up. This will be your setting and help. And if you wanna change it to mobile. All right, so this is the mobile version. Okay. This is how it looks like on mobile. All right, let's go back pages. All right, so if you click the plus sign, that is how you're going to find standard page, blog page. If you want to create a blog website, category page, product page, external page, and non clickable menus. Okay. All right, so let's go back to build. So now we're going to start edit. So you click logo. So if you have any logo, okay, so that's how you change your logo, but I'll just leave it. So let's say we want to change this name. I like the whole test and you type the name of your site. So when you highlight it, you want to bold it, make it italics. Okay. If you want to underline plus, okay, increase fonts, that's the plus. So we're going to decrease it. It's always good. Okay. When you decrease, this is how it's going to be for mobile version. It's always good. I know the white is okay, but let me try and choose something else just to show you how it works. So I choose the yellow. So that's how it's going to be. But in case you want to connect to any page, click here, paste the link in here. So click outside the box. Okay. Just to let it go click again you change the fonts with this and uh, this is if you have to undo okay and redo all right so that's how you change stuff so this is the spacer if you don't want it click the x then you click delete that's how you delete stuff that you don't want 
so i'm pretending like we don't want to change anything here and remember this is your home page all right so for location you have to double click this enter your address and it's good when you have a restaurant or business that you want people to know your location moving on on the left side these are the elements that we can use the title the test image gallery slideshow hd video spacer divider button social icons all right products category and if you want show all you click here all right all right so now we'll use the elements i'll create a youtube section i'll put it right here i'll drag a section until i see the blue line then i'll drop it okay so now we've created the section so click inside the box to let that thing go away so now i have to drag the youtube element show all elements they've just limited it now we're gonna have to find youtube this is it so you drag it drop it all right so this is it just click inside so let me go find youtube video all right so i'll right click on this and copy the link address so move back then i'll just drop the link here and you click outside boom there you go all right so that's how you embed youtube video on your website the process is still the same for everything all right so now I'll create pages so i'll show you how as you can see we have home menu about and locations so to do so you click on pages then you click on the plus sign you click on standard page then you name the page contact all right so if you don't want it to show then you hide it but i want it to show so i'll click done so it's creating a contact page all right so this is our contact page all right and click here to edit so contact us or contact me or whatever you want to put all right so we're gonna change the color let's give it uh, black all right and we're gonna try and center it let's see background edit background okay so i'll just use color you can use color image video whatever you want to put for background okay so but in this case i'll just use color uh, change color change color let's use green green oh this is too loud yeah i think this is okay you can just hover over it just to i want something light yeah this is okay all right then when you're done you click outside the box so i'll just move up all right but like i said you can just you can use image video it doesn't matter okay so cancel this all right or you can change this to white I want white but this color doesn't look like white so let's go here all right yeah so this is white if you want image so let's try and change it to image edit background go here image replace go to your computer all right loading and loading all right we click save all right so now this is our contact background so let me change this test so that it's gonna be bright so i'll change it to say black let's see yeah it's good because the color of the pizza is really bright so that's all right just to show you how it works okay so here 
what we're gonna do we're gonna go to build show all okay then let's look for contacts from this is it so you drag it and when you see the blue you just drop it all right okay so this is the contact form double click okay so now that's how you build the page with con let's say contact page or any page that you want okay so moving on i will show you how to create a blog post you click on pages then you click on the plus sign click on blog page so now we're gonna add a new blog post if you want to change the name of the page you can change it to call it let's say food blog or my blog all right but i'll keep it as blog okay so this is just uh, the template so you click on done okay and we're gonna work on the background so let's say i wanna edit the background so this time i will try and use color okay and i'll change the color so let's try and take uh let's say this okay let's keep it like this okay but you can do whatever you want you can add anything okay image all right then uh you can center it okay but like i said i i noticed uh, you can do this in small caps it's always in you know upper case but it's okay all right so in case you want to do anything else you can still change it okay so let's say we want to change this to italics okay let me see if i can change the background so i'll try and make it gradient just to make it look a little nicer so what's the first color i'll use uh say red okay and change gradient okay so this one is red and this will be green something like that okay something like that that's how you work out your gradient okay so that's how you minimize page as well okay so now you can see it's a little bit smaller all right all right so now to create a post we've set up the page already so now we're gonna create a post so you come down here to the right click new post all right so title name let's see image okay let's try to use uh, what we have now all right hey but this is too big so what we're gonna do you just hover over it come down here and resize okay that's how you resize all right then when you are happy with it you click save okay all right oh shouldn't have clicked save yet okay so the system thinks i'm done with my post all right so let's go back to it and click on it it's good I did that so you can see how to go about things so you don't you know screen all right so if that happened that's how you bring it back okay so now i'm gonna add add in text okay but first we have to add title okay so that's a subtitle so pizza taste awesome is the main title so what we're gonna do now we're gonna add a title so i'll use a uh, lorem ipson dummy test 
say copy you paste it here all right so i'm just using this if you want you can just uh center it okay that's if you want if not you can just bring it back here all right so let me try and just center it just to make it look different all right so and if you want to add spacer because it's a bit close you just drag the spacer okay then you can tell it has push it down so that's how you add spacer all right moving on i'm gonna try and add a test so right under the title then you let it go all right so this is the test box so we're gonna go back double click then copy ctrl c on uh, windows and you come in here then you just ctrl v all right so this is it so let's say you want to add a url link or you want to direct your reader to a certain page so let's say through this so you highlight it all right then you click on the create link okay then you click on website so let's say we want to bring them to this page then we come we go back then we drop the link when you are done you just click outside the link okay that test is bold and you can change the color okay if you want the color to be then you click on it whenever people read and they click on it it goes straight to this link okay so that's how you add link to your test all right all right if you want to add a gallery so let's say you drag this you drop your gallery template okay then you click on it then you add your gallery okay that's how you add gallery all right and when you are done you click on post in my case i'm not posting it in this site i'm not making it live it's just for the sake of the tutorial so you click on save you can see it inside the draft box okay to create another post you click new post to create a page you come back here and you click on the plus and you add standard page okay so that's how it works and when you are done with everything you click on publish all right but i don't want to publish it ready to post again all right then all you do you just click new post pages and go to home page all right so it's taking us back to home page click on the menu you have our menu about location contact and blog okay so this is how you create a website and a blog post with weebly platform okay and remember this is free if you want to upgrade it you can upgrade to any of the premium versions okay and they have good plans so you don't have to worry about their plans so this is the end of the tutorial thanks for your time please like comment and subscribe 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 until next time take care bye bye